for the answer to that very good question. I'm gonna need a minute. So... <sighs> All the pirate pretending has been awesome. And at first it was so much fun being Captain Kelly. Bravely sailing the high seas, meeting other great pirates like my uncle Captain Dan, and leading my trusty team of first mates to hidden treasure. Arrgh! Treasure that I got to share with others. But then, <gasps> I started to feel like being a captain is really, really hard. There are so many choices to make. And how do I know if I'm always making the right one? What direction to sail? And what to do while we're sailing? Do we puff the sails? Do we drop the anchor? Do I say, Arr! Or, Arr! Mateys! Do we heave? Or do we ho? Or do we heave ho? So many choices for Captain Kelly! <laughs> Thanks for listening, friends! As you can see, I'm done being Captain Kelly. What's this? Oh my goodness! It's a real life message in a bottle. I've heard about these before. People would be lost on an island without a phone or any way to talk to anyone. So they put a message in a bottle just like this and send it off hoping someone would get it. And we did! Let's check it out. No way. It's for me. And it's from Captain Dan. Hmm, let's see. It's a picture of a compass. A compass is something that tells you what direction you're going in. North, south, east, or west. And then there's a Bible verse. It says Proverbs 3, 1 to 8. It's a clue. It must mean that it's time for our Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. And for today's story, we are back in the book of Proverbs, which is a book full of smart or wise sayings that help us if we do exactly what they say. Today's very smart saying comes from the book of Proverbs chapter three. And it talks all about staying close to God. You see, every day we're faced with choices to make. Some of them are easy, like putting on clothes or eating breakfast. But others are hard, like standing up for a friend or sharing our toys. When we only have ourselves to listen to, it's tough to make the best choice. But Proverbs chapter 3, 1 through 8 tells us that when we don't know what to do, we need to ask God right away. You might be pretty smart, but God is way smarter and knows everything. We should lean into God when we might feel like leaning away. Choosing God is the most important decision we will ever make. It is also worth so much more than anything we have or will ever have. When we choose God, it makes us wise we will know what the right thing to do is. We will become brave. We will be kind. And we will never be alone because God will always be with us every step of the way. It might sound too good to be true, but the Bible tells us that is absolutely true. You will have to make a lot of choices in your life. Start by making the best choice ever. Believe with all your heart. I can be wise by choosing God. That Bible story helped me to understand why Captain Dan sent this message and picture of a compass. Life is full of ups and downs and choices to make. A real compass is great for knowing the actual direction we are going. But the best compass is God. <laughs> no, God is not really a compass. But choosing God means following God. And God will never lead us in the wrong direction. So I'm back. Sailing the open seas again. Being a captain does come with a lot of hard
hard choices, just like life. But it's comforting to know that the real captain of this ship and of my life is God. I can choose to talk to God and ask for help when I don't know what to do. Who knew that I can be wise by choosing God? So, anchors up! This ship is headed to the kitchen for some cookies and coconut milk. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Or, should I say, ahoy, me hearties! Until next time, yo-ho! And bye-bye!